Hey everybody, and welcome to my brand new series called Storytime with JRP. Tune in every single day as we will read a couple pages from my book, Lawrence Gray, Secret of the Lost Renault Colony. The book gets its inspiration from the real Renault Colony that went missing in the late 1600s, which was a group of settlers that vanished without a trace. And to this day, no one knows what happened to them. So this book is a modern investigation on what could have happened and if it was perhaps more serious than we could have possibly imagined. So let's get into chapter one right now, shall we? <clears throat> Professor Lawrence Gray graduated from Yale with a master's degree in historical studies. He also got a bachelor's in archaeology, and he is currently a deputy on the Hartford, Connecticut Police Force. He was just arriving to his house after a hard day's work at HCPF when his son Jason also got home on the school bus. Lawrence's wife and Jason's mother, Denise, recently passed away from lung cancer. In fact, today was the one-year anniversary of her death. Jason was only 13 when that happened. Now 14, the memory of that tragic event was still fresh in his mind. Maybe something would happen that could brighten the mood. Jason ran towards the house, ignoring his dad, who was still getting out of his Porsche. Jason, called his dad Lawrence. Jason! But Jason was already in the house. Seconds later, a light turned on in a window on the second floor. Lawrence was puzzled as to why Jason was in such a rush. He made his way upstairs and knocked lightly on the door. Jason, asked Gray, can I come in? A faint mumble from inside the door was enough permission for Gray, and he walked in. Jason was sitting on his bed crying. Lawrence ran to his bedside and put his arm around Jason. Jason, what's wrong? He asked. They don't believe me, cried Jason. I, I keep telling them and telling them, but all they do is laugh at me. Whoa, whoa, Jason, slow down, said Lawrence. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Jason wiped his eyes and said, bullies at school. I, I keep telling them it means something. What means something? pressed Gray. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the test, said Jason. I took a test on which colonies existed in the late 1700s. On, on the test, I circled Renoke. Then, puzzled, Lawrence said, But son, surely you know that Renoke disappeared in the late 1600s, not 1700s. No, Dad, that's not the point. Compare the words Croton. Remember Croton and it was spelled on a tree? That's all that was left of the colony? Compare that word with the name of the colony, Renoke. Then you can take letters from both of those words. What can you spell? It spells R-A-N, ran. They didn't disappear, Dad. They escaped. That's it. They're very small chapters, as you'll learn. So that's the first chapter, guys. So tune in tomorrow for chapter two to find out what happens. Is Jason going to get uh, his test fixed or what's going to happen, guys? It's too early for anything to tell. So you're just going to have to tune in tomorrow to find out what happens next. All right, guys, I'll see you then.